On or about October 6th or 7th, 1941, occupied Belarus, a Wehrmacht infantry battalion commander gave his three company commanders a single illegal order, kill all the Jews in your areas of operation. First company commander complied immediately. Second company commander considered it and then he rejected the order. The third company commander directed the company's first sergeant to go kill the Jews while he went back to his office. A single illegal order, three different responses. That's what makes this such a unique case study. It's very important in the military to constantly be groomed in the laws of armed conflict. And when they're put in a position of authority, leaders make an impact. Their decisions have consequences and also have second and third order effects. It's a culture, it's a way of thinking. It's keeping us morally and ethically sound. A lot of training is bullet point. Everyone knows the regulations and the laws, specifically word for word. But topics regarding leadership and ethics are never very clear cut. Uh, they're very seldom in reality black and white. There's also education that gives an opportunity for students to look at a scenario that may on the surface seem black and white and might seem cut and dry. But once you start digging in, you find that the situation is a little less black and white and also the responses to the situation are kind of complex. It is very useful to be using a case study rooted in the Holocaust because we have a historical record, well-researched, well-documented, that allows us to be fairly certain about the historical accuracy. And it makes it easier to take a small piece of that, to take a fractal of that genocidal experience and to look at it under the microscope and to move the students to talk about these issues of ethics and leadership amongst themselves. The museum provides a website that has a very specific case study document that gives you not only a historical case that you and your students can read from, but it also gives the instructor pointers on questions they can ask with the kind of target answers that the instructor might expect to receive. The material provides lots of context about World War II, about the Holocaust, about the German military. One of the great things about the case study is how scalable it is. You can make this a, a week-long lesson or it can be done in an afternoon. What I tell instructors is you want to really engage your students. Get them open, get them talking, but don't give them the answers. You want them to do the research, you want them to read. The way they learn is through the struggle sometimes and you want to put them in the process of learning because that's where you're gonna to start to get the students thinking about what kinds of things could they do as leaders to be able to make a difference. With a real, historically accurate case study, it's possible to identify, if not with the officers, with the situations that they faced and how they resolved them.